Okay, so a lot of people have been wanting to know how to convert BibleWorks fonts into Unicode fonts. Uh, basically, it's a simple process. I found it out for myself. Um, you're going to want to go to the website www.galaxy.com slash biblescript. Galaxy spelled with the I-E at the end, dot com slash biblescript. I'll display it in the annotations. And you're going to want to scroll down to the download biblescript free version. Click the in Windows installer. Save the file. Execute it. Install the, f the, the program. Or, if you're a more advanced user, you can click the manual install. Uh, which will install it, but it does take some time, and there's different documentation that teaches you how, but for the layman's user, and just to make the process simpler and easier, just click the Windows installer. It'll say that you need to create a folder, just ignore that. So what, when, you, when you get that installed, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your Microsoft Word. Go ahead and click on the File, Options. Go ahead and click on your Trust Center, or in 2007, it's set up a little bit differently, but it's almost the same as 2010 when I have. Go ahead and click on your Trust Center. Go ahead and click Enable All Macros. Um, now, it does say it's potentially dangerous, but this is from a safe site, so you should be fine. Go ahead and click OK, and click OK once again. Now, what you're going to do here, since this is not in the BibleWorks Hebrew it's just in the non-Unicode standard form. Go ahead and click Home. Go ahead and select all your text. And go ahead and scroll down to your BibleWorks Hebrew font. And for me, um, it was already pre-installed after I installed my BibleWorks program. If not, just go ahead and Google the BWHBB or the BW Greek L fonts on Google to find the true type fonts and that should be the easiest process to do that. Now I just have a small amount of text here. If it's a large amount of text, sometimes it will freeze. Don't worry, it'll convert it. It just takes a long time. Um, if it's a large document, it's going to take a very long time to convert it. You want to maybe do a page by page because it is an old font and it does take a while for this short macro to be able to do it. Now once you have the macro to look in your add-ins, it'll look something like this. Go ahead and click on Convert Fonts. Now you're going to select the font that you have on the screen. So go ahead and click the BWHBB, which is the BibleWorks Hebrew font. Once you click that, it should do its thing. And now you have it all in your um, Galaxy, not Unicode font. So what you're going to do is you're going to click Galaxy Hebrew to Unicode. And that'll basically change it to Unicode. And voila, you now have your Unicode Hebrew font. So what you can do, just to, just to show you that this is now um, Unicode font, it says that it's Galaxy Hebrew, but you can always change it. You can change it to Arial, to change it here. My favorite font is uh, David. You can change it to David font, change that to David. All right, so you now have everything there. You can change that back to 22 with the size of all these other fonts. Now you have your Unicode fonts. You can use this in Notepad, any other type of programs, and things like that. Don't worry about the, the vowel points being red. Um, it's just a standard thing that it does. So that's basically how you do it. The process is the same for Greek and any other fonts that you've seen on the, on the add-ins here. The Alexandra, the Koine, the Gideon, the Mounts. Um, the Greca, the Hebraica, so all these non-Unicode fonts will be able to convert uh, successfully. And like I said, if it's a large amount of text, it will take a long time. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.